Hey, welcome back. I'm Fina, and today I thought we could do a little bit of sketching and doodling with a couple of little tools that I got. <laughs> so, I thought I could try with my favourite mechanical pencil sketching pencil and a soft pencil, a calligraphy pen and a sharpie and what I'm most excited about is that <laughs> yesterday I bought these. They are glitter highlighters. And I'm desperate to try them out to see if they actually look good. <laughs> Here they are. So we've got a purple, pink, blue, and a green. And I believe they're going to be pastel colored rather than super neon. And as somebody who takes notes at university on paper rather than on a computer, I love a highlighter. <laughs> so I'm excited to see if these are good. Because I will be using them at school. So, let's give them a try. Okay, I do love that. I'm going to give them all a bit of a go first. So here's the pink. Wait, I think that's beautiful. Let's try the blue. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know if you can properly see the sparkle of them, but that is what I love. But I wonder whether they are really visible over writing. Let me test that out too. I haven't got the kind of pen I would normally use here. So let's try with purple. I feel like that was the darkest. Oh yeah, you can still see through them. Well, I'm in love with these, so that's great. <laughs> How about we do a few little doodles with them? Stunning simple.
I think they're so pretty. This will definitely make my incredibly boring nights <laughs> look a little nicer. I asked on my Instagram page for some ideas of little things that I could doodle and I got a good few responses so I think I'm going to go through some of those one of them that I got was the ocean and you bet I'm using this for that <laughs> and I'm not really sure how I'm going to draw the ocean but I might just go with waves since I just have this nice play. Hmm. Or should I do a sort of under the sea thing? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Let's start at the bottom of this page with some coral. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not really actually sure what coral looks like. So we might have an issue there. But I'm going to improvise. Does it look like that? This doesn't feel entirely wrong, so I'm just going to go with that. Let's have some corals all over the place. So I guess what we're doing here is a coral reef in the ocean. <laughs> and let's just say we're not going to be very scientific about the colours here. I think there's some more like dense coral, so that's what we're going for with this one. You know the ones that kind of look like brains? That's what I'm going for here. Now I'm not sure whether I should surround everything by blue or just sort of do the waves and the surface of the ocean with blue. Say that's our sea floor. We're a bit limited in colour here. <laughs> okay, I think I'm only going to do the surface with blue so that I can use the blue in other places too. I'm going to start by doing some fish. Mm, okay, hang on. <laughs> getting my bearings in. These fish, like angelfish, what do their tails look like? They look a little like that. Doesn't look quite right, does it? <laughs> okay.
kind of what a stingray looks like, right? <laughs> it's a bit basic, but you get the idea. What other fish can I do? There's little guys that like come out of the sand. I don't remember what these are called, but you know the ones that look like little tiny eels. Let's have a couple of those over here. But I think they're fish, right? Not eels. Hmm. I wish I'd left more floor space. I'd like to do a little crab or something. Okay, we're gonna do a crab that's been swept away by the current. And so floats through the air. <laughs> Coming to my attention now that I do not know how many legs a crab has. I believe it's this kind of situation. I've got little pincers. <laughs> Imagine him floating away right now in the sea. Let's go for another green guy. Let's do a long fish. Like that. And then let's do some waves. I'm going to make them thick, thick lines. I just want to get some more of that glitter in there, so we can have like a sparkling ocean. seascape <laughs> with my coral, my little fish, my crab, my stingray. Beautiful. <laughs> I hope whoever commented ocean was not expecting a hyper-realistic piece, <laughs> but these are the tools I'm working with, so this is the best I can give you. 
So, let's just fill up the rest of this page with some more of these. I'm going to start filling with little doodles now, I think. And I wonder if the sound of these highlighters is good or bad to you. I personally really like it, but my friend, we <laughs> often watch, there's a woman on TikTok, I don't remember her handle now, but I'll try and find it, put it in the description if I can, who rates pens <laughs> and sort of does little videos where she draws things with them, and my friend really hates the noise of whiteboard pens and of highlighters because she thinks it's sort of scratchy but I personally really like it <laughs> so, I mean, I hope you like it, obviously, since I'm doing it but you're very welcome to skip over this section if this is not one of your preferred sounds I just realised this kind of looks like I'm putting a sky into my little flower scene <laughs> so maybe that's what we can call it I'm really actually <laughs> genuinely looking forward to making some notes now so that I can use these pens and my notes can be beautiful although realistically my handwriting is probably going to undo all of the glorious work ooh, that was unsatisfying This is one small issue I'm finding with these. There's not much to hold on to. see the glitter shifting while the ink is still wet <laughs> it's 
So, there we have my wonderful new glitter highlighters. A good purchase. These are maybe like three or four pounds from Asda, if you're a UK citizen. <laughs> Worth the buy. Okay. Starting on a fresh page for my next utensil. That's going to be Trusty Mechanical Pencil, my love. So I thought that I would do another Instagram prompt for this one. So let's do a headshot relaxing drinking lemonade. Why not? Let's see. I think I'm going to put them on a little sun lounger. They look like. <laughs> That's his little nose. And then they've got little ears, don't they? It's kind of like that shape. Let's give him a little lemonade first. A little straw. And his other little hand. Then he can have some little his little legs in the air. This little sun lounger. Let's give him small spikes. Let's give him a little belly button all around. You know what? You can have a little pair of shades as well. Get your sunnies on since you're chilling. <laughs> and a smile. And then, how about we give him a little table for his lemonade new coaster on it there we go <laughs> so there we have a hedgehog Relaxing, drinking lemonade. Voila. Just some of the artistic genius you will see today. <laughs> so, another one I got was Fina Beats the Minecraft Ender Dragon Hyper Realism. Now, putting both Minecraft and Hyper Realism in one sentence creates a little trouble. But I guess I'll go with the hyperrealism then. Just take the concept from Minecraft. So I we'll have to start with the dragon. Which is easier said than done. What do dragons look like? Okay. Um okay. First of all thinking about where I'm looking at this from. Okay. Let's do my dragon flying around here first. Just give it an eye. It's 
they're gonna become quite clear now. I don't particularly know what a dragon looks like, but I feel as if we can just sort of improvise it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's give it some big old teeth. Hmm, I maybe didn't give myself quite enough space here. fit in the whole dragon. It's becoming apparent to me now. <laughs> hmm. I wanted the body to sort of be twisting around, so I guess the other wing is <laughs> off off camera <laughs> it's somewhere else over here I'm just going to put the front of it in here so that we've got some one part of the wing there and then the body I want to be twisting around like that so that we can maybe have its little claw back legs there and the tail sort of swooping back around. I'm gonna make it like spiky. The end of its tail. Like that. So then let's just clean <laughs> this up a bit. some scales. I picture it to be a scaly dragon. Probably getting a bit smaller by this end. shaded in a bit because it's black. Do they have tongues? Do they have like, like a long tongue? Have I imagined that? Let's give it one. With a little forked end. foreground here. And let's say I'm doing that. I'm shooting an arrow at its head. So maybe, okay, got a plan. Let's have me with a little ponytail. I'm not wearing a helmet because who needs that? And so I'm shooting an arrow. 
So that means I've got my right arm up, back behind me. How the hell do you draw that? And the other one in front. Okay, I can do the one that's in front, I think. Uh, that one is going to be holding the bow. So the arm is out like that. The hand. Gripping the front of the bow. Mm, this perspective is actually not quite right. Let's try that again. Okay, so if I'm shooting here, my hand has to be there. Holding the bow there. Assuming it's coming back. And the arrow is here. So, one hand by the ear, one hand holding the bow. What does that look like? Okay. So, I'm out in front. One arm behind. And there's a bow here. Okay. <laughs> How do I draw that? And I'm going to say, okay, so it's going to be an arrow sitting in the bow. that is behind two fingers. Is that right? Or is it just... Mm. It's coming to, to fruition here. <laughs> it's clear now that I don't know how archery works. So when you're shooting it, is the like, tail end of the arrow in your hand? It must be, right? Maybe not that far back. Okay, let's put the end of it here between my two fingers. So, here is little me, my silly little bow which you just gotta imagine you're looking at kind of from behind shooting my arrow at the dragon's head so <laughs> there we have it it maybe is not the most sound <laughs> but imagine this is my drawing of Fina Beats the Minecraft and the Dragon. There you have it. <laughs> so I guess it's actually more the moment right before I beat it. But just imagine that's a headshot and it finishes them off. Okay, so let's switch utensils again. I'm going to go to this page. 
with my calligraphy pen. So I've got some inks to use with that. I have a black ink, although I'm not sure how much of this is left since I spilled quite a lot of it on my carpet the other time I used this. I've got a red ink and a green ink. Now, I think maybe I'm going to go for the green ink next. Because I had another Instagram prompt which was cute little hobbit house nestled in the woods with a campfire and little animals scurrying about which I thought was very nice. So. Let's make that happen. So. Hobbit house nestled in the woods. Let's start with that. So. I'll do the little... side first with the door Okay, so we need a campfire, and also we need to be in the forest, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of grass all over this little hill. Wait, I want to do a little, a little lamp just over the door. And I wanted a campfire, so let's do a little campfire over here. So let's do a little flame and some logs burning. I'm gonna put some logs to sit on <laughs> on either side of it as well. And some little stumps. grass around. Now it said we're nestled in the woods, so I'm going to put some big trees. It's supposed to be a tree as well, <laughs> by the way. So 
the big sort of overhanging tree here. Wait. I don't feel like it's quite clear yet that this is the tree, <laughs> but we're working on it. So back here. Oh, part of the problem was lots of little animals scurrying about. And maybe actually I made this a bit too small. But we can work on that. Let's see. What animals can we have? Let's have some little rabbits on the grass here. It's quite a big rabbit actually. Maybe that's a hare. Have a little one next to it. And let's have a squirrel running up this tree. Maybe down. Ooh, okay. Once again, not 100% sure what a squirrel looks like. It's got a little head, little ears, and it's got a big fluffy tail. There's a little squirrel. Friends with the other animals, do not fear. There's our little fox. Maybe we can have a bear. I'm trying to think what other woodland creatures there are. What would a bear be doing? Okay, I'll just have him chilling. He's just walking somewhere, I guess. I feel like there probably weren't actually bears in the Shire, but... We're using some artistic license here. <laughs> yeah. There we have them. Our little bear. Do they have tails? They must have a little thing on his way to the campfire where he's going to meet his little friend the rat he's waiting for him he's waving, hey so let's put in some more trees Not 
forget we are in the woods. Fencing for this little house, and then a little path can continue there. fit here so well, but I'm a big fan. Okay. Well, there we have it. <laughs> I think I might call that a day. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six little guys, little animals. So, my camera just cut out, which is ironic because I was just about to start drawing it. But here is my hobbit house nestled in the woods with a campfire and little animals scurrying around. And this one I was about to start was draw the camera you're looking at. Make it meta fictional, baby. Okay. And my camera is looking down right now, so you're getting essentially a bird's eye view of it. So you get to see what the top of my camera looks like at least. <laughs> This is the sort of part on the top of the camera where you can clip in a microphone if you're using one that connects straight to it. It's actually kind of hard. <laughs> so it's a good good idea. Some text there, but you can't really read it from this angle anyway. Okay. 
here it says Canon. Maybe not proportionally completely correct. This is probably <laughs> in the quiet for you. I'm just spending most of my time actually just looking at the camera. <laughs> I'm in focus mode. I wonder if it'll actually fit in on the page. Not sure I will.
Mm, I regret doing this method. <laughs> I'm going to shorten it for the sake of being able to fit just a little bit more of it on the page. we can finish it there. It's probably <laughs> complex enough. So, there we have for the fountain pen. Okay. I'm going to turn two pages, just so we don't have that run through. And I'm going to move on to Sharpie. Now, a ton of the suggestions I got were cats. I got cats, lots of cats, a cat, Sleeping pup, kitten, um, cats, there's a magic, you know, it goes on. <laughs> Lots of people want cats, so cats we will supply. Hmm. Let's see. I'm just going to make lots of shapes and then turn them into cats. That's my plan. Let's do one of those really huge puffy ones.
This one is surprised. <laughs> um, let's do sleeping. Sleeping cat. babies and they like they look really they have the little triangle tail they look like this this is what every baby cat looks like to me they always have the same expression let's do has the really fluffy cheeks. I knew a cat like this. They look like a Disney princess. Like, I don't know, she just had these like huge round cheeks. And she's just so cute. But she was large, very large. Um, what other kind of cat can I do? Oh, there's naked ones. Sphinx cats. With a bit of like thin tail like that. Chicken leg. many wrinkles. likes to sleep like this. See, he's having a little snooze. He'll be round. With his tail out. And he sleeps with both of his legs outstretched like that. And both of his paws <laughs> tucked in like this. He's very shrimp shaped. I was too kind, he's a bit fat, he's like that. So let's do. One more little baby. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to turn just a couple pages so that I've got enough room and I'm going to move on to my sketching pencil. So 
so one prop that I got a couple times was self-portrait so I'll do that let's just do one of what I'm looking like right now so at this time I am start with the eyes pretty happy still smile so I'm sitting in my in my little room I've got my hair in a ponytail with these little front bits out I'll have the front bits on my ears and then the rest of it is in a pony I'm wearing my dressing gown <laughs> right now so I will be honest and draw it in It has got lots of little hearts on it. <laughs> and I'm sat in front of my desk. So Is me as we speak. Oh, wait, I've got a necklace on, so I can put that in. And am I wearing earrings? I need a little bit of those ones. That's my self portrait. <laughs> it's maybe not the best, but it's the one that I can do quickly. So, what else have I got? Somebody said. Butterflies. I can do butterflies. I'll start with my little childhood version. I don't really know how to do the more complicated ones. I don't know a lot of types of butterflies. When I was little, I used to do a little smiley face here for them as well. So let's just improvise. I'm going to use this one as well. I'm just going to cover this page. decent little ones too. Filling every little gap that I've got now <laughs> with my little butterflies.
Let's do some dragonflies as well while we're at it. Do they still have the blue antennae? I'm not sure. I'm gonna give them some. So there we have both. Self-portrait and photoplast. And with that, I feel like we might have done enough doom today. So 